What's up guys? So I'm here in the surgical room. I just had the draw procedure. I wanted to film earlier, but uh, I had to put my phone away in storage so that they could just put all my belongings in one spot. Uh, the procedure went very well. Uh, I got to the hospital around 1230. Uh, we ended up, you know, checking in, getting all the paperwork done, doing all that type of stuff. And I was in the operating room by about 2.15. And the whole procedure went from 2.30 to 5.30. So I'm, I'm assuming that uh, there was a little bit of bone growth over the plates, but I'll just ask the doctor to find out. Uh, I feel really good. Uh, face is definitely swollen in the, in the spots where the plates were, and there's a bit of pain there, but uh, I feel okay. Uh, my parents are, are coming to pick me up now, and um, oh, we should be out here within a couple hours. Uh, the the uh, initials on my face are from the doctor. They have to do that when they do uh, the jaw surgery. And I'm actually breaking out with a bit of acne. That's because uh, I haven't donated blood in a couple weeks. And uh, my liver is probably getting a little overloaded with iron. So I definitely have to donate blood uh, today or tomorrow. So hopefully I feel a little better. But uh, that's really it. I mean, um, I got a whole bunch of, I got this in my arm. I got the blood pressure cuff on. I got this in my other arm. I'm just going to uh, drink some water. And uh, maybe we'll lay down a little bit when I get home and then we'll eat something. It's 11.30 p.m. right now. Uh, we got home from the hospital at 8 o'clock. I laid down for a few hours, but my adrenals are really pumping and I can't sleep because I didn't eat anything today. That's the downside of bodybuilding and having a lot of muscle. I literally need to eat every single day or I can't sleep. Uh, so that last clip you saw of me was around 6 p.m. in the hospital. Uh, walked around the hospital a bit. Uh, my dad actually came inside to see me and then I had to go get another x-ray. Uh, but after that, left the hospital, you know, did the hour and 15 minute drive from Manhattan. And uh, now I'm gonna eat something. I'm gonna have uh, some steak, uh, which is, I mean, steak is actually pretty soft compared to most foods. Unlike my first jaw surgery, you know, my mouth isn't wired shut and there was no work done reaffixing the jaws, so there's no real concern with chewing. They did say to stick to soft foods, but to me, you know, raw meat is pretty uh, soft. So I got my retainers in that I was sleeping with. So I'll just pop those out. Now on the release form, they did say that they might've recorded the surgery, which is probably some really wild crap of them opening up my whole face. I don't really want to see that because it'll probably sketch me out, but uh, and I don't know if YouTube wants to see that either, so <laughs> maybe we won't even uh, think about uh, getting that footage, but I, I feel really good, uh, much better than earlier. Still a little nauseous and uneasy. I'm assuming that's because of the anesthesia. Uh, they gave me amoxicillin and acetomethin. Uh, what's it called? What's the pain medication? Ac acetaminomethin. I'm not gonna take the pain medication because it doesn't really hurt. Um, I mean, it hurts a little bit, but I'm fine. So I have to wear this mask in the house for two weeks since my parents are paranoid, but I don't really interact much with them anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. I spend most of the time in my room working out or at Frankie's strange meat, so there's only really half an hour of the day where I'd have to wear it anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, we do have that special honey that I think will be released within a week or two, guys. So... I don't want to tell you what it is now, just in case, but we have that special high glucose honey that we should be selling you guys in, you know, a week and a half, two weeks, and I think I'm going to do that. So I don't want to do a raw meat meal because I don't sleep when I eat raw meat. <laughs> I need to cook it uh, to, to sleep. So in hindsight, chewing a steak after jaw surgery isn't the best idea, but the pain I'm getting is from the salt going in the wound that they cut in my mouth. I think... Uh, my next few meals, I shouldn't really put salt on them, but I need salt, so I don't know how I'm going to go about that. That should probably go away in a day or two. Uh, one thing I'm actually really worried about is I feel like I was radiated. Like, the symptoms I have right now, nausea, head pain, not like a headache or like a weird head pain. Those are symptoms of radiation poisoning. So, I don't know what happened in the operating room, but I don't know how much I was radiated in the surgical room or if they, who knows, I don't really know. Um, but we'll know in 
know, five, six, seven days, if, if things get worse, then I know it was, it was a very, very heavy dose of radiation, um, which is not good. Uh, but I feel, I actually feel kind of okay now, but that's definitely on the table. So it's so the next morning, I had my AC on and I didn't sleep one wink last night. I think I'm allergic to the amoxicillin, so I shouldn't have tried that antibiotic. I'm definitely not gonna have it again. I was just like, eyes wide open, literally did not sleep a wink. Like normally, I'll doze off for a few minutes here and there, but I did not fall asleep one bit. So really serious allergic reaction to that antibiotic. I'm definitely, 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 definitely not taking it again. Hopefully I can sleep a little better tomorrow. That being said, I don't feel that horrible. So that's a good thing. It's really, really like clear outside and it's about 9 a.m. right now. So I think in two or three hours, I'm gonna go outside and try to get some sun. Um, the, the pain's gone. Uh, I did take uh, one of the acetomethine, whatever the hell pain medication they gave me at 5 a.m. last night because I wasn't sleeping and my jaw hurt like crazy and I thought it would help me sleep, but it didn't. Uh, now most of the pain has gone away anyway. Uh, the swelling I think is just starting. Maybe the swelling is going to get worse uh, over the next day or two. And um, it's pretty bad. It's not nearly as bad as the first surgery where I was like a balloon, but it's pretty bad. So. Uh, I'll give you guys an update at the end of today, and I think I have to donate blood today because I didn't sleep and um, I'm getting heart palpitations when I eat red meat, so I think I have to donate the blood as soon as possible. Uh, I'll try to work out later, but it's going to be a lighter workout. I'm definitely going to work out, but it's going to be a lighter workout. <laughs> I look like Lord Farquhar. <laughs> oh, my face hurts when I laugh. Oh, my God. Oh, man. So, it's about... Oh man, and now my face is bleeding. On the, I can feel the stitches bleeding on the inside. That's not good. Okay. Don't do that again. All right. So it's 3 p.m. right now. From about 10 to 12.30. I was just on my computer answering some emails. You know, relaxing, watching some YouTube stuff. Uh, I went to lay outside in the sun for two hours. And I ate something. So getting some vitamin D mainly to clear up my skin. And I thought it would help. Uh, I can't actually really tan properly because I can't lay on my stomach so I'm just going to tan my face a couple hours a day uh, if I can and hopefully you know a week or two from now uh, I can tan my uh, tan my whole body when I can lay on my stomach again I just need the I just need two or three days for the stitches to heal up and to stop bleeding man this looks this looks bad so swelling in the chin from taking the screws out the chin on the side of the jaw and up here too up here the swelling isn't actually that bad but um, this might actually get even worse over the next few days. So, uh, I might show you guys the meals I've been eating. I might not. It, it's basically been the same thing. Um, instead of uh, having a steak again today, I, I chopped up the meat into bite-sized pieces and had it raw like tartare. Uh, I don't think I can really eat that much cooked meat right now. Uh, so I took like a lot of honey, like, you know, maybe a hundred grams of carbs worth of honey. Uh, supplement wise, we did antimicrobials just to make sure we don't get sick. Uh, we took a, a lot of B vitamins, again, to help uh, the immune system. And just really getting the protein, getting the calories. Hopefully we can, you know, get the swelling down pretty quickly. But, you know, I don't think I'm going to be live streaming for at least, like, three, three four weeks. I, I was hoping that, I, I could live stream right now, but why should I with this face swollen? It's ridiculous. You know, I'm going to, I'm fine myself, and I have no problem showing my face like this live streaming. But I feel like everyone's going to be like, oh my god, Frank. Go relax, go lay down. <laughs> um, these marks are from the tubes that they had in my mouth during the surgery. But we'll see. Sure, by Friday my face will be all clear up and I'll look a lot better. But if you guys do want to see the supplements and the antimicrobials, you can go on my Patreon. And, and I did videos on that already. So it's about 10 p.m. on Tuesday, day after surgery. I'm feeling really good. Uh, if you guys see my arm, I actually donated a liter of blood because... I didn't lose that much blood during the surgery and the iron overload has really been raising my ferritin level. So I feel a lot better uh, now that I did donate that blood. I might do one more donation next week. Not really sure, but uh, we just finished the workout. Uh, I'm feeling, as I said, feeling really good. Uh, obviously not as intense as I normally work out, but the volume's still there, the routine's good, and we really just missed one day of working out. Uh, what I'm looking forward to is going for a hike uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I think I'm going to 
you know, I do some barefoot walking through the woods, which I've been wanting to do ever since I started this bodybuilding nonsense, but haven't had the time to. So now that I have some time off and I don't have to write videos, film video scripts every day and do live streams, we're gonna see how that uh, helps us feel. Eating these meals is not fun. It doesn't hurt that much and I can do it, but it's definitely not pleasant. Cleaning my mouth, brushing my teeth isn't that bad, um, at least compared to you know, the prior surgery where I can only eat soft foods, but uh, we'll see. So uh, we're gonna vlog tomorrow, Wednesday, as well as Thursday, and I think we'll post this video on Friday. So I do wanna show you guys some of the stuff I'm actually doing uh, tomorrow and Thursday, as opposed to just talking about it. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Wednesday morning, two days after the procedure, and the swelling is supposed to peak today. I think it's a bit more than yesterday. I can't really tell, uh, maybe uh, just a tiny bit more. Uh, so the doctor sent me an email this morning and you know just checking up on how I was doing. And he kind of said that a lot of bone grew over the plates. So they had to grind down quite a bit. That's why you know the swelling is so bad. Uh, so, you know, we'll see how things go over the next two weeks. That's going to be the real determining factor. Hopefully the swelling starts going down at least within four or five days. Sleep was a little better last night. Uh, I did take uh, the acetomethine, the pain medication, twice. I took it once at 12 p.m. and then once at 5 a.m. just so I could sleep. The pain isn't that bad, but when I'm trying to sleep, it's like all I can focus on. So I have to kind of take the medication to sleep. Uh, so hopefully no more than a few more days of that and um we'll see my, my back was actually hurting more than my jaw i've had some um there's a muscle in my back i've had problems with it uh, on and off the past few months and it gets really bad when i don't sleep so uh the jaw pain wasn't really keeping me up last night it was the back pain and i've been trying to do some exercises here and there to fix it but i will show you guys uh some of my meal this morning um hopefully uh, my ground beef comes in so I don't have to cut up any ribeye steak or anything, but man, my face looks horrible. It's so swollen. I look like an eggplant. About 9.30 on Wednesday night. I didn't really do anything today. I laid down from like noon to 5.30, uh, just resting. Then when I woke up, I had about half a pound of raw ground beef with some honey, which was you know very easy because I didn't have to chew it. And then I worked out for maybe two hours, and here we are now. So I'm not going to have a second meal. And since I didn't eat any cooked food today, I think I might have a hard time sleeping, but we'll see. I, I just feel like this vlog is so boring, but uh, I do want to keep track of the healing, the recovery, uh, at, le at least for the first week or two. And uh, I will try to show you guys the meal tomorrow, because tomorrow is going to be the last vlogging day before I post this on Friday. Uh, but for the rest of tonight, I'm just going to try to relax for a couple hours, uh, mainly clean and organize my room, which I've been delaying for like three months now. So I'm going to get my clothes away in the closet, get some stuff tidied up and together, and then hopefully the rest of this week I can organize my garage, get everything together, make some products for Frankie's Naturals, and uh, uh, we'll be looking good moving forward to uh, launch some business ideas that I've been having and hopefully... Uh, move things forward uh, for the farm sometime in the next few months, hopefully. So I'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning, and I'll let you know how I'm feeling. I'm probably just going to take one of the pain medication tonight before I go to bed, and then maybe one in the middle of the night. We'll see. What's up, guys? It is Thursday, about 2.30 p.m. I just got about two hours of sun, and now I'm going to have my first meal. Uh, my face doesn't look that bad. I just look like a fat version of myself, but I'm definitely not fat <laughs> uh, so let me show you the meal it's going to be really really simple we're just going to have some raw ground beef with a little bit of mustard on it and some of the honey glucose product that we should have for you guys within a week or two so this is really it just the glucose which is actually melted this is supposed to look more crystallized like it is on the outside of the edges here and this is one pound of really lean ground beef with some mustard and salt mixed in so i didn't sleep so well last night i took the pain medication twice once around 1 a.m when i was going to bed and again around 4 30 a.m when i woke up in the middle of the night uh, i'm gonna keep you guys updated uh, throughout the rest of today and how i feel you know the pain in the face is actually not that bad but as i said my back has been acting up 
uh, which is actually bothering me more than the pain in my face. But uh, the game plan for today is have this meal. Uh, we're gonna go out, pick up some food for my sister's meals. And then I'm gonna come home and try to clean up my room, clean up the house, organize some stuff, and then have a second meal tonight, get a good workout in, get a good night's sleep, and uh, looking forward to going down to Frankie's to arrange meet tomorrow, Friday, and getting things back on track. So I just picked up some stuff at Whole Foods for my sister, and I'm curious what's going on where you guys are at, because it seems like half the shelves are still empty here, and you know, it makes you a little scared for what they're gonna do in the near future. Uh, you know, what the food security is gonna be like and how people have such short memories. So, you know, just let me know what's going on. I'm curious if it's the same in other parts of the United States, if it's just this Whole Foods is having a hard time getting restocked. I don't really know what's going on. So it's around 6.30 and I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. Uh, I wanted to show you guys the second meal and maybe do a workout and talk about some more stuff, but a couple things happened and I'm a little bit irritated. So someone obtained my parents' cell phone number and the house number and they started calling and making things up like, oh, your son tested positive for XYZ. Then they started sending them, you know, inappropriate pictures of myself to their personal cell phone numbers. Same person. So the only way this person could have obtained the cell phone number of my parents and the home number is if someone at the hospital that I gave those numbers to is inside the club and sent it to someone else to harass me. That's the only thing I can figure out at this point, but um not too happy about that i might make a whole video on this but we'll see it doesn't make any sense to me but uh definitely uh drop a like on the video leave me a comment down below guys and uh, i'll see you uh next week maybe we'll try to do some live streams